Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Adam, and I found some very interesting things happening this past week in terms of tech stocks. Um, and basically, some big moves are being made, and they're transferring money from like literally billions of dollars from tech stocks into retail stocks, right? So you can think of restaurants, you can think of clothing shops, you think of um, airlines, cruise lines, etc. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm owner of Facebook, and if we look at even the five-day chart just recently, and I believe this will continue for maybe a month, um, it went from highs of like close to $280, and now it's down by like 6%, right? And as of recording this video, it's like $260, right? So lost, literally going from 280 to 260, that's literally wiping off billions of dollars of their market cap, right? Because Facebook is such a huge market cap company, right? At like $735 billion now, right? Same thing with Zoom Communications. Um, you know, it's been all over the place, but again, after reaching highs of like 270 bucks down by 10%, right? Trading at 237 right now, down 4% today, right? Same thing with Tesla, huge fan of Tesla. But again, right now this stock is down, uh, where when it used to be like 200 and sorry, $1,700 or around there down again by 14% down 1% on the day right here. Right, so this has been a growing trend for the tech stocks, and so basically billions of dollars are being sold off of these tech stocks and going into the retail space. Right, so again, we look at something like a Shopify, up like one thousand four hundred dollars, right, and down seven percent now at one thousand three hundred. And this is in Canadian, my bad here. Um, down two percent today, or close to three percent. Same thing with Upwork. It's a uh, sort of startup company involved in um, matching job contractors to clients uh, for various jobs, right? Reached the peak, you know, around $17.50, now down close to 20%, down 3% on the day, right? So again, this is a shift that's been, you know, I think going for some time. But then look at sort of the retail stocks, right? Look at the pharmacy chain, five days up by 6%. I own some Walgreens uh, shares, right? So I'm very happy with this move. Same thing with Berkshire Hathaway, right? Involves in like large insurance company, involved has companies like Apple, etc. up 16% uh, in the past month, right? So again, very happy to see that. Same thing with Macy's. I mean, I don't have any shares of Macy's. I should have bought uh, Macy's. I, I did a video up 20% just over the past five days, right? That's insane, up 4% today. Same thing with Nordstrom, down its lows um, like a, two weeks ago, up 27%, right? That's insane. Foot Locker actually reported positive earnings, right? Holy crap. Look at this, up 15%, right? Just, it, it's absolutely insane. So we see a transfer, uh, sort of like a recycling from tech stocks. So basically, so, you know, even though tech stocks came out with amazing earnings, right? I did a, a video on Facebook, how Facebook exceeded expectations right same thing with apple same thing with um amazon right but so much good news is already priced into the market that um you know the tech stocks sort of need to take a breather and they're sort of being transferred into companies like Foot Locker. you know look at carnival cruise corporation up almost five percent today right like or the past five days up 17 percent wind resorts again huge moves up 24 percent right just in the past five days Cheesecake Factory, again, same thing, up like 33%, you know, Air Canada, right now, up 11%, right? So, um, this is just something that I noticed with my stock, so it's good to always, you know, hedge your portfolio, have a, some tech stocks and also some um, retail stocks, but, you know, I'm thinking that this trend is going to continue for a month, so my suggestion to you is... Uh, of course, I'm not a financial advisor, but what I might do is put some money in uh, companies like a Macy's or a Nordstrom, right, um, rather than in tech stocks right now, while also waiting for a bit for companies like Tesla um, or even Facebook, right, to go down a bit. So I would love to see, you know, Tesla go close to $1,000 and hopefully be able to buy up some shares, right? Um, and, you know, one thing to support this is, of course, like, the Nasdaq Composite, uh, which of course is tech heavy, um, slid for the second day in a row, and this was just uh, published August 10th, so yesterday. Um, 
says for second day in a row as a tech heavy index retreated uh, 0.4%, right? So the energy, industrials, and material segments were strong, right? And that makes sense, of course, like more retail stocks. Um, same thing was, you know, in hotel chains, Marriott, Royal Caribbean, and Foot Locker, three companies that, of course, um, were trading up in the past couple of days, right? So again, now it's it's sort of you can say that value stocks are outperforming growth stocks, okay? So right now might be the time to sort of reassess your portfolio, um, sort of talk about, you know, where you should be in terms of your portfolio. And I encourage you, you know, if you see a good deal, to of course, um, put in some money in these more value, more retail stocks to benefit off of this move, right? So again, that's just my advice. That's just something I noticed. I thought it was pretty interesting. Uh, let me know what you think and have a fantastic day, guys.